All right. This is video number uh, nine, and I want to prove by show, by using definition. Show that by using definition uh, that the limit. Sorry, the limit of two over x as uh, x approaches one is equal to two. We can substitute one, and it is going to be equal to two. That's true, but I have to prove that using limits, using the definition of the limits. Right? <clears throat> That's great. How we uh, can start first? Uh, we know that, right? Absolute value of f of x minus l should be equal should be less than epsilon. Should be less than epsilon to ensure that absolute x minus one is less than delta. So we find we have to find a certain delta that ensures that thing exactly. <clears throat> we do what in this case. Absolute value of 2 over x minus 2 is less than epsilon means what? Means minus epsilon less than 2 over x minus 2 less than epsilon means what? Means minus epsilon plus 2 less than 2 divided by x less than epsilon plus 2. I added plus 2 to each side of this inequality and we have to find x now because I need x minus 1, right? So I have to make that, make the reciprocal of 2 over x. Or let's divide by 2 directly first. Minus epsilon plus 2, I multiply with half, right? We divide by 2 or multiply with half. Less than 1 over x, less than epsilon plus 2 divided by 2. This implies, now I'll take the reciprocal, so it will be 2 divided by 2 plus epsilon less than x less than 2 over 2 minus epsilon. That's true because we, when we uh, do the reciprocal, we convert these two because uh, the numerator here is less than the numerator there. That makes the number more, right? <clears throat> I got x. We have to continue to find x minus 1 because x approaches 1. So I have to find x minus 1 is included between which, which two uh, numbers we consider them as delta so 2 over 2 plus epsilon minus 1 less than x minus 1 less than 2 over 2 minus epsilon minus 1 I subtracted 1 from all sides of this inequality and implies that common denominator it will be 2 minus 2 minus epsilon over 2 plus epsilon less than x minus 1 less than 2 minus 2 plus epsilon over 2 minus epsilon right so what we do here is uh, simplify this to be minus epsilon over 2 plus epsilon less than x minus 1 less than epsilon over 2 minus epsilon. That's what I, I want, this number, because I have a minus of this positive number. So I need to have at the other side the same number but positive, so it's not this one. For uh, epsilon over 2 minus epsilon, right, is a number which is uh, logically greater than, let me write it here, minus epsilon, right, <clears throat> over minus epsilon over 2 plus epsilon is less than x minus 1 is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon, which is less than epsilon over 2 minus epsilon. So I have a number over here below this number, which represents the positive part of that to ensure the least delta we can take, right? So according to these three here in this inequality, I can return x minus 1 to absolute value and make it x minus 1 in the absolute value and make it less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon, which is the delta we are talking about. So delta should be epsilon over 2 plus epsilon to ensure that x should be close to 1 that much in order for the function f of x to be close to to be close to uh, uh, epsilon, right? To be close to epsilon. So delta is a function of epsilon, and it is also positive. Since epsilon is a small positive number, this is going to be also a positive number. 
let me here prove using sandwich theorem the question is show that using sandwich theorem that limit of x square times sine 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0 since I will use a sandwich theorem to prove that so I have to know what value this is included between we all know that sine x we all know that sine x right sorry sine u sine 1 over x over here it's here 1 over x is a function included between negative 1 and positive 1 but I don't need only sine 1 over x I need it multiplied with x squared so can I multiply the whole inequality by x squared for sure minus x squared less than or equal x squared times sine 1 over x less than or equal x squared right I need to find the limit as infinity so I'll take the limit for all sides limit of minus x squared as x approaches 0 less than or equal limit of x squared times sine 1 over x as x approaches 0 is less than or equal limit of x squared as x approaches 0 we if we substitute 0 over here we are going to get 0 we leave this one limit of x squared times sine 1 over x as x approaches 0 and this here if we substitute 0 instead of x over here we are going to get also 0 if this function if the limit of this function is included between 0 and 0 by sandwich theorem this means that the limit of x squared times 1 times sine 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0 and it's done I think so we still have time <clears throat> to do another problem let me check if we can do this problem yeah I think so uh, let's see all right let's do let's do this this number okay I think so we still have a little bit time yeah we still have around four minutes and a half let's do this one <clears throat> it says um, uh, consider the function f of x equal piecewise function it's radical 1 plus x squared under condition if 0 less than x less than or equal 0 less than or equal x less than 1 0 less than or equal x less than 1 and it is equal to 8x plus 2 if right 1 less than or equal x less than or equal to this is very nice number this is this is very nice problem we should find a such that the limit of f of x as x approaches as x approaches 1 exists we have limit we need to find a if limit as x approaches 1 exists that's that's really great what is the limit first of f of x as x approaches 1 plus right or 1 minus we can start in <clears throat> any one of them let's say 1 plus limit of f of x as x approaches 1 plus is equal to what 1 plus means greater x is greater than 1 x is greater than 1 it is found over here right x is greater or equal to 1 this is 1 plus this means I have to find the limit of a x plus 2 when x approaches 1 plus substituting instead of x 1 I got a times 1 a plus 2 and what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 minus this means I have to use where x is less than 1 what's the meaning of 1 minus it's 1 minus epsilon so it is this number right where x is less than 1 where x is less than 1 I have to use this part of the function so it's limit of radical 1 plus x squared as x approaches 1 minus which is equal I can substitute 1 1 square plus 1 it's radical 2 that's great because what's the meaning of limit? limit exists limit at 1 exists this ensure that f limit of f of x to the right of 1 should be equal to the limit of f of x to the left of 1 this means by other words that a plus 2 is equal to radical 2 right we got the limit at 1 plus and we got the limit at 1 minus so can we find a now 
we we can find a which is equal to radical 2 minus 2 okay